Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 5th to November 8th, uh, 11th 2018 so that being said, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Taurus star sign and uh, it is not your personal reading Therefore, um, I will do here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, uh, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, well, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, uh, I want to let you know that the monthly videos are uh, already out for the month of November. So if you want to indulge yourself with what is to come for Taurus star sign uh, in the month of November, uh, please feel free to check them <clears throat> in, in this same YouTube channel. So going to the Tarot spread first here. Now the first card is to show us the topic of your Taurus this week. And we do have the Queen of Pentacles. So when we do have the Queen of Pentacles, uh, this week is, uh, as a topic, it is more about, uh, uh, how can I place it, P placing boundaries mm, around your undertakings, in the sense of that um, you are to start realizing that there is more into your uh, undertakings and enterprises than the, than meets the eye, uh, which means that there are uh, there will be more benefits and more profits for you if you indulge even deeper in what you do have at this very moment, the project that your career, uh, your relationship, and etc. etc. Well, my point here is, guys, is that you can expand and you can sprout in what you already have in your platter rather than seeking newness to come into your life. The Queen of Pentacles is one of the cards pointing that there are still unexplored possibilities into your, um, <clears throat> into the things that you are currently doing. So if you do face any kind of predicaments throughout the week regarding your career or your relationship, and these predicaments are not caused by a, a new enterprise there, but it's something that you are trying to push further from the previous week or from the week before that. That means that there are options available that you are not considering uh, yet, and uh, therefore you should uh, kind of like try to have a, a broader eye upon the situation or kind of like more open-minded if I if you want to say that way uh, the whole point here from having this card as a <clears throat> topic of the week is that you can achieve much more than what you uh, initially anticipated and also uh, our one thing I want to say here about those who are seeking someone that they want to be in a relationship with this card here points that throughout this week, uh, this someone is to be in your social circle, all right? That, and most likely it is a, an opportunity yet unexplored. That is someone who tries to give you signs that they like you, but for some reason you are not paying attention to those signs. Now, having someone there that wants to be with you is different from having someone that you want to be with them. So that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't do something from that. It's just so you know that this card points that either way, career or, or relationship, you do have a uh, opportunities to take on already created. You don't have to search for new uh, and uh, you do have an options available out there. So uh, the next card is to show us the core of the situation. That is to be the two of cups which in this specific point um, in this specific reading kind of points for a couple of things first of all that your suitor uh, already embarked into your social circle they go uh, they are already in all right maybe you are flirting um, in between one another there is a flirting in between uh, you and them or, or you know there is a emotional connection in some sort but when we go to your career field because the two of cups it does mean love you know but when you ask a career question you have two of cups 
that doesn't mean love at work you know for uh, for career as a um, core of the situation this card points here that you are getting uh, accepted better and better by your co-workers and that is exactly what gives you the additional options available in your current projects for example um, two weeks ago let's say you had a, a very uh, how can I place it um, war fair relationship with one of your colleagues I mean you really didn't get along with one another but now as the things are settling down you know and you're becoming more friendly like type of relationship they may consider helping you into your project which opens a whole bunch of new options available for you to expand it and to push it further so it's kind of like the calmness in the environment that you have created it is what is contributing for you to even maximize you know the um, the fruits of your labor and in general the benefits from your doing from the past couple of weeks even to a month the next card here is pointing to the challenges that you have to overcome. We do have the Hierophant card and uh, this is about trust. There is uh, and also hierarchy. Now Hierophant comes from hierarchy, the father of the hierarchy. So what is important here is that even if you do have a, a very good relationship, for example, with your boss, uh, with your supervisor, etc., etc., do not forget your place because you know these good relationship, friendship type relationship. It is easy one to forget where they stand and what they are for at that specific place. Additionally, this card it's point that you will have, you will find it very challenging to place your trust into someone or into something, and that is perfectly fine here because as we can see, you don't have to seek for anything new in this week as a matter of fact that is highly unadvisable looking at these cards it is more like a, a kind of a, you need to trust the work that you are doing that it actually can happen and when it comes to a uh, relationship obviously uh, this card it is a, about mutual support and mutual trust you know because according to the Hierophant one intimate or friendship relationship does not reside entirely on emotions emotions needs to be a follow-up to the trust and the mutual support because you can love each other all you want but if you don't trust each other relationship is impossible and the last card that we do have is going to be the uh, guidance the tarot is offering to you now we do have the tower card so the tower card is a very violent card and it is a, a card of transformation where everything that you have built adds to be brought down that is if the card is event all right and uh, you afterwards after the turmoil of the destruction here you have the chance to rebuild it so what this card does advice here saying you is that you need to identify what into your uh relationship for example career or undertakings in general it's um how can I place it? It can it can be reconstructed. It can be uh, not fixed but expanded. It can be rebuilt. All right, and you need to start working upon it. As right now, you do have that favorable uh, environment that you have built up for yourself, consciously or subconsciously. It doesn't really matter, guys. It's just you need to use the. Um, the calmness of the environment so you can restructure uh, your relationship your career your friendships or you know your undertakings so the tower card could ask you to be a little bit more aggressive here you know i a little bit more uh, i don't know the english term but let's say a little bit more drastic when it comes to uh, when it comes to reshuffling um, your life and and your relationship was for that matter in your career but the tower card at the end uh, promises uh, that should you pass through the transformation uh, there will be a, a nurturing and healing effect upon your life so don't be afraid to um, to make changes it's not even changes but to make rebuildments uh, in your career or into your relationship throughout the life but those um, 
but uh, but those kind of uh, act of rebuilding should be only in the frame of your current um, in your current domain in your current estate in your ongoing uh, enterprises as I said looking at these cards throughout this week new enterprise or a new agenda like brand new person that you don't know at all you know uh, to have as a suitor or a, 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 a brand new uh, career or a brand new job or a brand new um, project it is unadvisable because they are to deprive you from the expand you can achieve into your in, into the things that you have already worked for so hard so that was the um, the tar reading for you Tauruses. Now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and we are to see what awaits you there. Now they are to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. So let me cut them and let's see what we got. Now the first card this is the heart. Now the heart obviously symbolizes love, it symbolizes relationship, it symbolizes flirting, what we do hard here. Uh, all that we do had here as a matter of fact and also symbolizes commitment the next card that it is this is going to be the clover now the clover stands for small amount of success a, a little bit of luck and the last one this is to be the um, the bear the bear stands for authority it stands for motherhood it stands for a uh, headstrong and it stands for it stands for power so what we do have here is, is that either a, a flirting, a romantic relationship, um, love that you do have, or a, um, a commitment is going to improve slightly, but just enough so it can become rock solid here. What we do have is, it is a stability. What we do have is power. So it's going to have the power of the influence of, um, <clears throat> to sustain itself. It's kind of difficult to explain it, but let's say that uh, you will be able to do just as, uh, as much to get the upper hand there and to kind of like make the commitment, the flirting, the love that you do require or the relationship at your behalf. What you need is a little bit of luck and that little bit of luck is going to be granted to you throughout this week. So do not waste it. This is something that you definitely need to look forward to and that doesn't have to be something about a new relationship of course. That could be for example if your current relationship is a little bit off then a little bit of luck is going to reignite the emotions in between you two so you have to be headstrong so you can seize it and to kind of consolidate it so pretty much uh tauruses this was your um weekly tarot and lenormand reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was just a, a general reading for Taurus star sign and it was not your personal reading guys therefore i did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you at the end to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.